Welcome to the Spivey Daniel video blog. Today I'm here with Frankie Hartwell with Midnight Appraisal Services. Today she's going to discuss things you should know prior to coming in for appraisal for a refinance or if you're selling your home. So Frankie, with that being said, what would you say is like the number one item that a seller or someone getting an appraisal or even refinance should expect when you come through? The first thing is that the inspection process is invasive. There is a lot of door opening and inspecting of the entire property, and it has to be really open so that the appraiser can observe the walls, the floors, and the condition. If you have a lot of items that are cluttering, it's always a great idea to kind of just uh, put some things away. You don't have to clean up. It doesn't have to be pristine, but the appraiser has to be able to inspect and look at all the walls and floors and all the doors. Okay, because I know a lot of times people have doors that are locked. They're like, oh, they're not here, you know, the tenant or, or maybe a roommate. Mm -hmm. But that time, make sure all doors are accessible. Right, right, okay. for a full inspection. And uh, another thing, a question I have is regarding any type of repairs that are done to the home. A good, uh, if you have the time, time is permitting, is right. to repair all small uh, repair jobs that make the house look uh, average by the, you know, just a number of, of things. If you have like a door that's hanging off the hinge, you know, go ahead and fix that. Right. And just small repair jobs add to the overall condition adjustment. You could really be on the, on the fringe of average and good. But if you fix those items, you go to good. Okay. So it's that, it's that fragile. Okay. And what about upgrades? I know a lot of people will do upgrades to the home. A list of upgrades is really probably the best option because you don't remember everything when the appraiser is there. Right. But a list of everything that's been done in the past 10, 12 years, uh, actually 10 to 15 years, mm -hmm. and things that we can't see, like if you've done insulation, if you've done things to the foundation, we don't always see that. Okay. So a list is helpful. And let's see. Now, what about if you do an addition? So it definitely permits, if someone does an addition to a home, having a permit, is that something that they need to provide to the appraiser, or how does that work? I wish it worked that way. Okay. It's, the good answer to that is it depends. A lot of times an appraiser will come and observe an addition, and the owner will not say that it's legal or not legal for fear that it won't be counted, which is not the... It's never the case. It always has some type of value. The lender just wants to know if it's a health and safety, if it was done in a workmanlike manner. It has a value, even though it's not legal, because the market will see it that way. Right. The market gives value to it. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Frankie, for the information that you provided. If there's any more information that you'd like to have, our contact information is listed below, and we'll be more than happy to assist you and answer any questions that you have. So once again, thank you. Frankie. Thanks for having me. Okay, well, hope to see you soon, and have a nice day. Bye.